Hi guys. Well, it's almost the end of uh, 2013 and it was time to, for us to get some more videos up. So we've got uh, several of them what we're going to do. Um, this particular one is going to be um, something that's been kind of on my mind lately and uh, hearing a lot of kind of uh, talk about it on our Facebook page. Um, you guys know the signs that, that I typically do. Um, generally, you know, rounded corners with bevels. Uh, that's a, a little sample, and you guys have seen these all before. I just wanted to kind of go over them. That's a again a, a ribbon shape, um, and it's got the bevel on it. Um, here's one that's again a, a bevel with the the Western letters on there. So you guys pretty much know the stuff I do and uh, and how I go about doing it. Um, and then you know here's another one, same kind of thing. And then we've got uh, we've got one with scallops on it, a scalloped edge. Now, typically over the last probably 10, 15 years, every once in a while, I would get a request for a sign that uh, people wanted it like, uh, to look like an old piece of barn wood or something. And they wanted it rustic looking and um, weathered and beat up and jagged and all that. And generally speaking, I would just say, no, nope, that's just not what I do. Um, but, you know, more and more, I kind of were, was getting more and more of those requests. And uh, so I kind of just played around with it a little bit. And now over the last six months or so, I've done a few of them like that. I don't think I've posted or showed you guys anything or posted anything on Facebook. But I've got, um, uh, I actually, I, I've shipped them all out but one. I'm going to show you one that I'm getting ready to ship out tomorrow. That's why I wanted to get this video done. So I'm just showing you some pictures that we printed out. This will kind of give you an idea of, um, and uh, unfortunately we don't have the signs because I had to ship them out to customers. This is just a little 6x24 with western letters. And if you look real close, and sorry about the, you know, it, it probably could be a better picture, but we just printed them on regular paper. And there's a little bit of a glare on there where, uh, where the flash kind of glared a little bit. But anyway, I think you can get the idea. Uh, and, and those little spots on there are uh, bullet holes. They wanted something in it that looked like bullet holes. So I just used a, my little 60-degree cutter and uh, just made little holes with little stars coming out. And uh, they really liked the sign. It came out kind of cool. So, um, but you can see the kind of edge that I put on there, and I'm gonna. That's really what this is gonna all be about. And uh, there's been a lot of discussion lately on our Facebook group about uh, how to do that edge, and it's really, really simple to do. And um, a lot of guys on Facebook are already doing that. I know Dan is really good at this. Dan's custom signs. There's your plug for you, Dan. Um, anyway, so there's one. Here's one that I did. That's a little bit different. Uh, it's got a little bit different edge, and it's actually got a, not a regular rectangle. It's uh, kind of a freeform shape uh, around the edge. It's basically, uh, I think it's about 12 by 36 or something like that, but it's got a little bit of freeform, and you can see at the edges where I kind of came in with the angle grinder, make it look like splits and stuff on the end. So that's another one. Here's one that I actually, I just did and shipped out a couple days ago. Again, it's kind of a, a free form shape and um, I used the angle grinder and just kind of rusted it up a little bit. Um, and again, sorry for the, the glare on the, am I doing all right, Dad? Yeah, everything's okay? fine. Okay. Um, anyway, so that'll just kind of give you an idea. Now, what I, and so what this video is really going to be about is how to do that edge. Um, and I'm going to get into that in a second here. But here's one, that, and this is the one that uh, I just finished, and uh, I'm getting ready to ship it out. Now, these people really sent me a picture or a, a mock-up of something that was like an old piece of barn wood, and they wanted it, you know, as aged as possible. Now, you'll notice when you look at this, the reason, and that H&H &H saloon that I just showed you, that little 6x24 with the bullet holes. What I did was, again, it's got a freeform shape to it, and I, I put the little edge on it with an angle grinder, and that's what we'll show you. But then what I did was I found out if I don't sand all the black off, which I'm, and, and I have to tell you, this isn't my favorite sign to make because it's not, it's not precise and it's not exact, and... I tend to be like, if it's not, if it has a flaw in it, it drives me nuts. So 
this is the hardest sign really for me to make is something that has kind of an abstract look to it that isn't uh, precise and exact because I, I tend to be kind of a perfectionist. But anyway, um, so this has just got a free form shape and then I just, I, I sanded it off, but I, I just sanded it off with uh, my 50 grit uh, with the grain and I left a lot of the black on there, which gave it, gave it kind of a weathered look. That's what the people wanted. So that's what I did on that H&H &H saloon. They wanted something that looks like it had been outside for 20 years. So um, I'll, I'll get into, in a minute here, I'll get into exactly how I go about doing that angle grinder. And I'm not, a, uh, I'm not great at it. Um, I'm, I'm learning like everybody else is. But uh, the more you do it, the, um, the easier it gets. And it's, uh, you know, if you can stand not being exactly precise and balanced and all that stuff, that's where it kind of it kind of drives me nuts. So these aren't my favorite signs to make, but there's a call for them more and more. You see more and more signs like this. So there's a, there's a certain segment of uh, sign buyers out there that wanted, as a matter of fact, a, a funny story is when I was in Oatman, I was making a sign and they wanted it to be distressed. And I, I got it all done to the point where I was spraying all the black on it. You guys know what the sign looks like when you spray the whole thing black and then you sanded it off. Well, I got it all sprayed black. And they were sitting there watching me make it and they said, perfect, that's exactly the way we want it. And I go, you, you want it like this? And they said, yeah, it was all black, guys. I hadn't, I hadn't sanded it at all. It was completely black and that's the way they wanted it. it, it it was astounding to me. I couldn't believe it, but they walked away with the sign and it was, and I didn't touch it with a sander. It was completely black. Outset and inset letters like one of these, but it was completely black. So there's a segment out there of customers that want an old, rustic, beat up, looking, weathered, crappy looking sign. But anyway, so um, I just wanted to share that with you. And so what we're going to do now is I'm going to set up and I'm going to show you how I use that angle grinder and get that little, uh, that little edge on there for you. All right, I'm back. So here we have one. I just did this uh, just a couple minutes ago. I just did the top edge and the, the end um, just to end, just a scrap board, just to kind of give you guys an idea of what it looks like uh, unfinished. And uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'll just clamp this uh, other little scrap piece to the table here and then uh, and I'll show you exactly how I do it. And again, I, I'm not an expert at this. You want to show them those clamps, son? Uh, yeah, these are just the little, uh, the quick clamps. I use these all the time. You guys probably have a shop full of these. I, I've got maybe a dozen of them, and I'd like to have a dozen more. <laughs> Can never have too many clamps. Anyway, I use these all the time. They're a great little clamp. So I'm just going to clamp this to the table just to keep it from moving around. Now this thing's going to make noise. So here's a, just a regular 4-inch uh, angle grinder. It's uh, nothing special. Um, the, the blade that I have on there, I think, is just for concrete and masonry. But uh, you, can, you, know, you can use whatever kind that you want. Um, but it's, it's basically just an angle grinder. I don't think, I think this is a, you know, fairly, fairly inexpensive. We've had it for like 10 years. So, um, anyway, I'll just, uh, kind of zip around here, kind of show you how, uh, I do it. And then, um, and then I'll flip it around, do the other edge, and then I'll, uh, do a little bit bigger piece too. So here we go. This is going to make some noise. I think that's probably all you guys need to see. I mean, that makes it... Now, that, that last thing that I did there... To Lower it down a little, son. Can you see it there? Well... Oh, I didn't... Okay, that's fine. Okay, now I got it in view. Okay, so that last little piece that I did where I went clear down the edge, 
I like to do that, um, and I, I didn't always do it that way, but I like to do that because I, I don't want really any sharp, real sharp edges on there. And if I didn't go back and do that, then I'd either do it with my chamfer bit, my 45 degree chamfer bit, uh, but it gives it a little bit even more rustic look by going about and hitting that sharp edge. So uh, I didn't, again, this is the part of this that, that kind of is tough for me because I just do it indiscriminately. Now, there I know there are guys, Dan is really good at this, where he, you know, and, and other guys where they have a pattern, a certain way and a pattern and all of that, and um, I'm just not doing it that way. I, you could, so this just gives you an idea of the tool to use, and then you can figure out the best way to do it. Um, but it, it, you know, a lot of people seem to like it, so. I, I can't say it's my favorite, but uh, the tough part for me, again, is the fact that it's just indiscriminate, and I don't have, I'm not taking my tape measure out and saying two inches, and then an inch and a half, and two inches, you know, it's just, it's just rough, uh, kind of indiscriminate, so, um, now this particular board over here, this pine, this, again, just a piece of scrap, you can get that, Dad? Yeah. So this is just, I just did this freeform edge, not this one, but this, I just did it on the bandsaw. Literally, I just took it, ran it through the bandsaw, and just kind of moved it and, and uh, kind of come up with it. That's how I get that freeform edge on there. So um, simple to do. It's really simple to do, uh, fast, and it gives that, uh, that little bit of an edge. In fact, I'll go ahead and actually maybe clamp this one up and just do this real quick. Uh, let's see, let's do that side so I can do the, the top and the, the end. Yeah, that whole board's right in focus, son. Okay, good. So. So again, I try and I try and vary the angle a little bit and and get some going different angles and little ones and big ones and you know you just whatever whatever works for you. But that at least gives you kind of an idea of how that's done. And um, I know there's like I said, there's been a lot of talk on our Facebook page about it lately. So um, I guess that's about it. Is there anything I'm forgetting, Dad? No, as far as uh, as far as that rustic look on the sign, that's. Uh... Kind of uh, gives them an idea. That's and, pretty and, much uh, it, part. Yeah, and again, I'll bring this one in. So this is uh, this is uh, actually, you know, this is kind of what they wanted. Again, you know, uh, you'll have customers that will, you know, just keep your mind open. If they are asking for certain things, maybe, they, and this has got three or four different fonts on it, and, you know, this was uh, just exactly what they were asking for, so... And we uh, we think that whole trend was sort of started with that uh, Lonesome Dove sign. Yeah, uh, I, I, we were talking about that earlier. We think that that, uh, that old board off of uh, Lonesome Dove with uh, uh, Captain Cole and Augustus McRae, uh, when they were moving the cattle up north, uh, that, uh, that sign off of their wagon. We kind of think that that might be where this started. But um, anyway, yeah, there's a lot of us Lo Lonesome Dove fans out there. I've only seen it about a hundred times. Anyway, um, I guess that's about it. Uh, we're going to do another video real quick, um, probably in the next day or two, maybe two or three more videos before the end of the year, and it's like mid-December right now. So I uh, hope everybody, if I don't get to talk to you in person, hope everybody has a Merry Christmas. Sorry, I'm maybe politically incorrect, but I'm a Merry Christmas guy. I ain't a Happy Holidays guy. So uh, 
<clears throat> and I think my dad's probably in that same boat. Merry Christmas. So anyway, we'll talk to you guys soon. And uh, we'll do, we got a couple more great videos coming up for you. So everybody have a Merry Christmas and we'll see you soon.